The United Nations University World Institute for Development Economics Research is part of the United Nations University UNU WIDA, the first research and training center to be established by the UNU, is an international academic organization set up with the aim of promoting peace and progress by bringing together leading scholars from around the world to tackle pressing global problems. UNU WIDA The establishment of the UNU and UNU WIDA In 1969 the UN Secretary General Yu Thant suggested that the time had arrived when serious consideration might be given to establishing an international university. An international university, the Secretary General said, would be devoted to the charter objectives of peace and progress. It would be staffed with professors from many nations and all parts of the world. The university would thus serve to break down the barriers that created misunderstanding and mistrust between nations and cultures. The UNU was established by the General Assembly on 6 December 1973 to be an international community of scholars engaged in research, advanced training, and the dissemination of knowledge related to the pressing global problems of human survival, development, and welfare. The UNU started its activities in 1975 at its headquarters in Tokyo. The UNU established UNU WIDA following a brainstorming of leading economists of the day outlining the need for an institution to undertake a sustained effort for a more comprehensive understanding of the forces at work in the global economic system and their consequences for specific developing country situations and at the international level. In November 1983 Finland offered to host UNU WIDA in its capital Helsinki, providing premises for the institute and an endowment fund of $25 million. UNU WIDA was founded by a host country agreement and memorandum of understanding signed by the then Foreign Minister of Finland, Paavo Verinen, and the Rector of UNU, Soed Jatmoko, on 4 February 1984. Topic. Mandate UNUWIDER's mandate is to undertake multidisciplinary research and policy analysis on structural changes affecting the living conditions of the world's poorest people, provide a forum for professional interaction and advocacy of policies leading to equitable and environmentally sustainable growth, and train researchers and government officials in the field of economic and social policy making. Topic. History Following the approval by the Finnish parliament, the host country agreement came into force on 20 June 1984. Lal Jayawardena was appointed the inaugural director 1 March in 1985, and the institute was initially located at premises at Anamkatu 42C in Helsinki, Finland. Topic. Research During its existence UNU WIDA has produced a large amount of research on the broad topics of poverty, inequality and growth. The research program changes every two years. It is constructed by the director in consultation with the UNU WIDA board following extensive discussions with UNU WIDA research staff, leading economists, and donor government representatives. Areas of research have spanned all facets and levels of development economics including topics like, finance and trade, economic growth and the environment, women and development, international migration and refugees, micro-simulation of tax benefit reforms, social impact of privatization, fiscal policies for growth, transition and institutions, development aid, global trends in inequality and poverty, personal assets from a global perspective and many more. During the mid-1980s the Horn of Africa was confronting widespread famine. 
As this coincided with the launch of the very first UNU wider research program, the theme of hunger and poverty, the poorest billion was included in it. This research was directed by Jean Dries and Nobel laureate Amartya Sen. It has been argued that the resulting three volumes of study transformed the thinking on issues of famine and food security at the time. In the late 1990s WIDA undertook a major study of income inequality trends throughout the world under the direction of its then director Giovanni Andrea Cornia. The study uncovered so-called new causes of inequality linked to excessively liberal economic policies and the way in which economic reforms have been implemented. Furthermore, the study produced the first version of the World Income Inequality Database It is a comprehensive and freely available database of statistics on inequality trends within countries. Since 2009, under Director Finn Tarp, UNU WIDA has concentrated widely on the triple crisis of food, climate change and finance. Nobel laureates in economics associated with UNU WIDA Eleanor Ostrom, 2009 Paul Krugman, 2008 Joseph E. Stiglitz, 2001 Amartya Sen, 1998 John C. Harsanyi, 1994 Douglas C. North, 1993 Robert W. Fogel, 1993 Robert M. Solo, 1987 Other Nobel laureates and prize winners connected with UNU wider activities Marty Artisari Nobel Peace Prize, 2008 Edmund S. Phelps 2006 James A. Merlees, 1996. Topic: Controversy. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, the press reported on various financial and organizational irregularities about UNU WIDA and its management. Topic. Institutional framework The Council of UNU determines the principles and policies guiding the whole university. The board of UNU WIDA, comprising well-known economists, policy makers, and social scientists from all over the world, advises on research and other activities. The director of UNU WIDA has overall responsibility for the research and management of the institute, and implements the research program in keeping with guidelines set out by the board and the council. UNU functions as a decentralized network of networks with an interdisciplinary and global perspective. The UNU system comprises the UNU Center in Tokyo and a worldwide network of research and training centers and programs RTC per Peter Second assisted by numerous associated and cooperating institutions. Topic: <laughs> Organization Research is coordinated by Helsinki-based staff consisting of resident researchers and support staff. A network of external project directors, located at their universities or institutes, contribute to current projects along with several hundred network participants around the world. This group includes research staff from the UNU, UN, ECLAC, UNDP, FAO, International Labour Organization, the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development UNCTAD, UNICEF and the Bretton Woods institutions including the World Bank and International Monetary Fund. Visiting scholars typically spend two to three months in Helsinki working on topics related to the current research program. The internship program allows PhD students in economics or related social sciences to spend two to three months at UNU WIDA. Funding 
UNU WIDA was founded with contributions from the governments of Finland and India, the Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency and the Nippon Foundation, Sasakawa Foundation Japan. Income from the endowment fund has largely covered core expenditures. Supplementary financial support for research and other activities has been received from the governments of Denmark, Finland, Italy, Norway, Sweden, and the United Kingdom, the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development, Kuwait, Ford Foundation, EO Janssen Foundation, Finland, MacArthur Foundation, Oracle, Finland, Rockefeller Foundation, SITRA, Finnish National Fund for Research and Development, United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, UNDESA, United Nations Development Program UNDP, and the World Bank. In-kind contributions, such as assistance in hosting workshops and conferences, are also regularly received from various universities, United Nations agencies and other international organizations. Directors <inaudible> 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 The current director of UNU WIDA is Finn Tarp. Tarp also holds the Chair of Professor of Development Economics at the Department of Economics at the University of Copenhagen, where he completed his MSc and PhD in Economics. Former directors include, Anthony Shorix, Matti Pojola, Giovanni Andrea Cornia, Mihai Simai and Lal Jayawardena. Activities Topic Research The research program is reformulated every two years by the Institute's director in consultation with the UNU WIDA board following extensive discussions with UNU WIDA research staff, leading economists in the UN and elsewhere, and donor government representatives. Research projects are led by scholars, research fellows, and external project directors who elaborate the proposals before the projects are launched. Each project typically invites selected authors to write original research papers, which are later presented and discussed at project workshops and conferences. In some cases, a more general call for papers may be announced on the Institute's website. Typically, two large development conferences are organized annually in Helsinki, each of which brings together around 100 individuals to present papers and to discuss current problems on development issues. Participants are usually researchers and policy makers from the academic, government, and development communities. Special attempts are made to encourage researchers from developing countries and to achieve a gender balance at these events. The research studies are published as wider working papers. The outcomes also often include a policy brief and an article in the wider angle. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Annual lecture. The wider annual lecture is delivered by an eminent scholar who has made a significant contribution in the field of economics of development and transition. 2013 Marti Artisari, Egalitarian Principles, The Foundation for Sustainable Peace 2012 Lant Pritchett, Folk and the Formula, Fact and Fiction in Development 2011 Justin Yifu Lin, From Flying Geese to Leading Dragons, New Opportunities and Strategies for Structural Transformation in Developing Countries 2010 Jose Antonio Ocampo, Reforming the International Monetary System 2009 Ronald Findlay, The Trade Development Nexus in Theory and History 2009 Deepak Naya, Developing Countries in the World Economy, The Future in the Past 2008 Kamal Dervis The Climate Change Challenge 2006 Angus Deaton, Global Patterns of Income and Health, Facts, Interpretations, and Policies 2005 Nancy Birdsall, The World is Not Flat, Inequality and Injustice in Our Global Economy 2004 Danny Roderick, Rethinking Growth Strategies 2003 Kaushik Basu, Global Labor Standards and Local Freedoms 
2002 Jeffrey G. Williamson, Winners and Losers in Two Centuries of Globalization 2001 Francis Stewart, Horizontal Inequality, A Neglected Dimension of Development 2000 Jagdish N. Bhagwati, Globalization and Appropriate Governance 1999 A. B. Atkinson, Is Rising Income Inequality Inevitable? A Critique of the Transatlantic Consensus 1998 Joseph E. Stiglitz, More Instruments and Broader Goals, Moving Toward the Post-Washington Consensus 1997 Douglas C. North, The Contribution of the New Institutional Economics to an Understanding of the Transition Problem Other activities UNU WIDA and the African Economic Research Consortium AERC signed a Memorandum of Understanding in the area of climate change capacity building and research. Subsequently, UNU WIDA AERC have jointly announced the PhD Research Internship Program, and the UNU WIDA AERC Visiting Scholars Program. Ranking In 2010 UNU WIDA was ranked as 7th best international development think tank by the University of Pennsylvania Think Tanks and Civil Societies Programme. 